Emma. And Bailey. Welcome back to our channel. Today, um, we're going to be doing a Bible study for kids. Um, so, yeah, let's start by reading Genesis. We're going to be doing crafts, reading, singing. and singing. So, and whatever else we think of doing. So, we're just going to start with the book of Genesis. So, we're going to read. So, I'll read this. Genesis 1 through 2. Okay. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was out form and void. The darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. Then God said, Let there be a ferment. In this mist of the water, and let divide the waters from the waters. Thus God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. So the evening and the morning were the second day. Then God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together in one place. And let the dry land appear, and it was so. And God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb that yields seed, and the fruit tree that yield fruit according to its kind. Those seeds is in itself of the earth. And it was so, and the earth brought forth grass, the herb that yields seed according to its kind, and the tree that yields fruit, seeds in itself according to its kind, and God said it was good. So that evening and the morning were the third day. Then God said, let there be lights in the firm of the heavens to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and seasons, and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heavens to give light to the earth. And it was so. Then God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give the lights on earth and to rule over the day and over the night, to divide the light from the darkness. And God said it was good. So that evening and that morning were the fourth day. Then God said, Let there be water to the abundance of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the face of the firmament of the heavens. How much are you going to read now? Okay. Here, we're right here. So God created great sea creatures and every living thing that moves, in which the waters abounded according to the kind in every winged bird according to its kind and god saw that it was good god blessed them saying be fruitful and multiply to fill fill, fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on earth so the evening and the morning were the fifth day then god said let the earth bring forth and living creatures according to the its kind. Cattle, the creeping things, and the beasts of the earth, each according to the kind. And it was so God made the beast and earth according to its kind. And then you want to read the rest line? That's sure. The rest line. Okay. okay. Kind. Cattle according to its kind, and everything that creeps on the earth according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make men in our own minute, according to our likeness. Let them have dom domination over the fish of the sea, over the birds in the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over a creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image, in the image of God. He created him, male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, fill in the earth and subdue it. 
Half Dalmatian over the fish in the sea, over the bird in the end, over, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. And God said, Hi, see I have given you every herb that yields sand, which is on the face of the earth, and every tree whose youth yields seed to it shall be for food. Also to every beast of the earth, so to every bird in the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, it which there is life. I have given of agreement the herb for food, and it was so. Then God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Okay, so that's what we're going to read today. We went to two. It took quite a while. Yeah. See, so I'm off. So... Well, I guess we're going to be making the craft now, I think. Yes, what we're going to be doing for craft is we're going to be making... Bookmarks! Bookmarks! So, what you need are some pieces of little yarn or string. We're using yarn. And then little pieces of paper like this big. And color. So, I'm going to be right back to get a hole puncher. So, we're just going to hole punch, put the string through... And we're gonna color with all these fun colors. I'm not going to get the hole puncher. Okay. Yes, I can find it. Here, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna be really careful, guys. Make sure you're careful putting it if you're using scissors, because you do not want to mm -hmm. make a mistake. Okay. Okay. So there's one. Here's one. So, I can't wait for this craft. So now whenever you're in the Bible reading, you can have a bookmark for whenever you need to stop. So, so let's get to it. Um, here's another piece of yarn. Okay. So, first, what I'm going to do is put it <laughs> through. I'm just going to do something really little because we need to move on soon. So, Yeah. I'm just making her and we'll show you the results when we are done. Yeah, you guys can work on yours too. Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna You can really use anything around the house, just get some paper, cut it. Yeah. So easy. And really fun. And fun. Yeah. So you can all you need is a hole puncher of scissors, some paper, and markers. All you need for this. Pretty simple. Mm. So yeah, it might take a while. I'm trying to do as fast as I can so you can get moved on. So yeah. So I'm not going my best coloring. I'm just doing what I can. If you guys need a pause video, you can to make yours. Because, yeah. I'll probably make another one. I'm just making a kind of a sloppy copy. I think these will look really cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, super cool. Okay, now I'm going to color on it. Mine just kind of simple. Okay, so this is mine. I put little crosses and I put Jesus loves me. Right, you have to tie the string in now. Okay. It's as easy as that. Now you can keep keep it in your book whenever you're done reading. So, um, yeah. It's really fun. We just decided simple. this was, and we're well. You're just gonna do crap that go along with the story, but today since. So we know our story that we're just going to make a bookmark. So we're not really that into it yet. 
yes. But that's okay. Okay, perfect. So it has Jesus and then three hearts and then two crosses. Mm-hmm. So yeah. And we'll show you how it works. So we're actually gonna put it in our Bibles. So here you okay. see here's mine. And what can I see yours? Oh, this is mine. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna put it in here. Oh, flipped a little too huh? Okay. Perfect. Oh, boy. Look at it, and it, it's as simple as that. Let's keep it in the top. And so I can just see Jesus loves me part. And perfect. So that's our craft. Now let's get on to seeing one song. Yep. Well, wrong card. Okay, ready? It's not the best. We're trying to add still more, but, but yeah, we'll make some more bookmarks. You have to make more if you want, but yeah, let's make a couple more. Let's do this. So we're guys, trying to go pretty fast. Um, make sure to like and subscribe to the video. See you next week. Bye. Bye.